One of her dream poems, it's a dream she had on December 3rd, 2012, or maybe that's the day you wrote the poem, I'm not sure. Dreams 12, 3, 12. So I was in the cul-de-sac on my street and I had to use the washroom. So I thought of going to the bathroom in my house. It was really gorgeous, the bathroom in my house. It had floor-to-ceiling windows so you could see the world while you are going to the bathroom. <laughs> but I figured that since people were on my street all going to a neighbor's garage sale, that I shouldn't use my bathroom where everyone could see me sitting on the toilet. Looking back, why did I have a bathroom like that with floor-to-ceiling windows in a populated area? I mean, did I want this exposed bathroom so I could feel like I could commune with nature or something? I don't get it. Either way, I walked to a neighbor's house. I assume I asked their permission to use the bathroom, but I can't remember. And I went to the small bathroom, closed the door, pulled my pants down, and sat on the toilet. And I looked up and saw that this bathroom had two doors on two opposite adjacent walls, and that's when someone walked in and went through the other door. And I thought, wait a minute, I'm using this bathroom. Why did someone pay no attention and just walk through? But then someone else walked in to walk through the other door again. So I said, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm using the bathroom here. And they responded, but this is the only way to get through. And I'm sure there was another way through, but then I realized that these were people at the garage sale. And they were just walking through to look at more of my neighbor's belongings for sale. <laughs> As more people came walking through, I couldn't believe that strangers were walking through this bathroom, never even noticing me sitting on the toilet with my pants down, because they were so focused on looking through someone else's belongings. I don't know. I don't think I have bathroom issues, but I just don't like feeling so exposed. Thank you.